Hi, my name is Chris Kuzmi. I am a longtime member and current president of the New York City Home Brewers Guild. Been home brewing since about 2001, and I love it. I'm a crazy addicted to it, and I'm happy to share it with you today. I'm also part of the New York City Degustation Advisory Team, which I formed with my partner Mary Izet, nycdat.com, and I'll be showing you how to homebrew today. Cheers. So now we've gotten our work to a nice rolling boil. It, inside here it is bubbling like mad and protein is all coagulating and coming to the top. Most brewers uh, only boil for 60 minutes. I tend to go on the 90 minute side. Uh, what that means for me when I'm make, getting to the boil though is also that I have to start with six point or six and a half gallons instead of six gallons. About a gallon evaporates per hour. But if you're just doing a 60 minute batch now or shortly after now would be when you put in your bittering hops. We talked a little bit before about how hops come in three different forms. They come in whole leaf hops, they come in pellets, which is generally the most consistent, and they also come in hop plugs. Today we're just going to use pellets and whole leaf pellets as a bittering hop, and then pellets as a flavor, and then we're going to add, add a flame out. We're going to throw in some, some whole leaf hops. So here we go. Let the countdown begin. 60 minutes from here. So 45 minutes have passed, and we're gonna put in our flavor hops now. I just have about a, just under an ounce of, of a UK Kent Goldings. Um, but also at this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in, my method of cooling is to use a wort chiller. Now I've washed this, but by putting this in 15 minutes before the end of the boil, we're 45 minutes in, this will sanitize the wort chiller. And this way I don't risk any sort of contamination when we get to the end of the boil and when we start using it. Um, but also at this time, we're gonna put in a little bit of Irish moss, about a tablespoon of Irish moss. Now what this does is it helps for, a it's a clarifying agent and it's really good for uh, letting any, getting all the solids to kind of like settle at the bottom of your beer in the end. 60 minutes have passed and we are ready to turn off our boil. Now is crunch time. This is the most dangerous part of our entire brew day. Now is the time in between our boil where everything is totally sanitized and everything is totally, things are cranking. This is totally clean. Nothing is wrong over here. The only thing we're scared of right now are these little floating crazy things that we can't even see but are everywhere. They're everywhere. Do not be fooled. They are everywhere. They will kill your beer. Be scared, be very scared. Make this next part, make this cooling thing as fast as you can. So we are going to turn off our brew kettle, turn off the flame. We're going to take our final hop addition. This, this hop bag has been sterilized. So we're going to dump our whole leaf hops in here. And this is flame out. This is going to give us the aroma, the bouquet of our beer. We're gonna get it in at the same time as we go into the cooling process. Thanks for joining me for the boil.